Hi folks, ToadRevisedown.com here and we have just picked up this Honda's 2019 CB500X so you'll have to excuse the slightly different intro to the bike but I've literally just got back from Corby after picking the bike up and it's quite late and it's absolutely roasting so I thought I'd do it a little bit differently so here we are £6,119 you can pick it up on a PCP deal for around about 100 quid a month which is pretty good value so this of course has got the same parallel twin 500cc engine as the CBR500 and the CB500F which produces a A2 legal 47 odd horsepower so around about 35 kilowatts maximum torques 43 newton meters and the engine is a peach I'll tell you what else is a peach the riding experience of this thing is so much fun to ride it's quite softly sprung all the CB500s are quite softly sprung um, but it is a lot of fun on a twisty B road and it just feels so nice when you're riding it we've got a funky little LCD dash which is one of the reverse ones so that backgrounds dark the numbers are light and it looks quite cool it's a little tricky to read in direct sunlight as you can see there um, it's not the easiest to read when it's bright but at night it's really really clear and easy to read so this press bike that we've got here has got a few additions on it it has got heated grips will not be needing those today it has the top box and I was told by the man at Honda that it's also got a slightly taller screen he said it's non adjustable but I think that's two position adjustable because there's a another hole there so I'm assuming you can take those allen bolts out and shift it up a bit to make it a bit taller I'll have a go at that um so Harry was on the riding launch of this bike last year and they did a three bike launch where they had the CB500F the CBR500R and this the CB500X all on one launch and of all the bikes this was the one that Harry said he enjoyed the most which is weird because he's a sports bike fanatic so I'd have thought he'd have gone for the CBR500R over this but he loved it he said it was absolutely brilliant and ever since he said that I've been itching to have a go and I'll tell you why I ride I've ridden a lot of adventure bikes on road off road and they're good and all but they're just so big and so heavy and this thing just looks like an absolute hoot off road so what are we going to do with it well if you watched the video for the suzuki v-strom 1050 xt that we posted a couple of weeks ago we're basically going to do exactly the same thing i've ridden probably 50 or 60 miles on it today just getting back from corby back to coventry and we're going to do some off-roading find some green lanes and then there's a, a nice little off-road place that i know of where we can go and try it out on some more tight and technical stuff but it has got the proper kit for riding off-road i mean we've got a 19 inch front and we've got a 17 inch rear which for this size of bike is pretty much bob on for riding off-road we've also got the uh dunlop trail max um sort of pseudo adventure touring tires fitted to it which have got some pretty deep grooves and nobbles on them so I think they're going to be all right actually I don't think you'd want much more in the dry I think if it's going to be muddy then you were going to you're going to need something more what are the first impressions of this bike it is extremely comfortable very comfortable the riding position is you could be sat in an armchair frankly uh, it feels like you could ride this bike for days and days on end and never get tired or achy or any of that the other thing it does it just doesn't seem to use any fuel i think at the minute i've ridden back and i'm averaging let's just check the funky little dash see if it will tell me there we go i zeroed that before i left and that's on b roads and a roads and i've done 90 mpg which is pretty blooming good 
uh, we have got obviously a six speed gearbox it weighs in at 197 kilograms so it's fairly light it feels lighter than that 197 kilograms and it's got a 17.7 .7 liter tank so long distance potential on this thing is extremely good uh, seat height's 830 mil it's nice and narrow so i don't have any problems getting my feet down and do you know what it's just a pleasure to ride it let's have a listen So, there we go. I expect a full review in the next few days. I've been Toad, thank you for watching Visor Down. Cheers folks.